Hi there, lecture two, unit two. This is all about how do you ask questions, how do you get started on the research for your investigative uh, report. So one good way when what we usually talk about and what we did the very last day that there was actually a class <clears throat> was we talked a little bit about uh, how to Google. So this is a little bit more about Googling and how you come up with great ideas. So first thing, to come up with a good idea, um, as I say in the in the notes um, in the assignment sheet, <clears throat> it the best ideas are ones that are personal, something that is interesting or important to you, something that happened to you, happened to you or happened to someone you know, family member. Um, like I said in class that last Wednesday, my student who did his investigative report on uh, stop and frisk did it because he and his friends had been stopped and frisked, and he wanted to know what the heck this was all about. So he did his did his Googling and his looking, and he wrote a really interesting report, and then went on and created a poster, which is something that um, I also talked about that last day, and which will be what we'll be doing for Unit 3. Put a pin in that for a second. The bottom line is, come up with an idea or a question about something that's interesting or important to you. Now, these days, of course, what's interesting and important is what's going on with this crazy, with the coronavirus and all of these people and what's happening. So this is a little something that I did yesterday because I got curious. So let me uh, let me do this. What I what happened was I saw these pictures of uh, on my Twitter feed of Venice. You know, Venice with the canals, and it said that there were dolphins and swans and stuff. So I went, oh, cool, let's go look up Venice and canals, and it's clear. So here I got my Google search up here. So I've got Venice canals. You can see what I was doing. So here we go. What's the first thing that popped up? Fake animal news abounds. Uh oh, and this is Venice. I happen to know that. So I went, shoot. National Geographic is a really credible source. So I clicked on it. Sure enough, okay, the canals are clear. These are not dolphins. Okay, this is, this is just sunlight. Um, ignore all this stuff on the side, if you can. Um, fake news abounds. Um, this is a whole thing about swans had returned to the Venetian canals and dolphins had, <clears throat> that a group of elephants had wandered into a village in China, gotten drunk off corn wine and passed out. You know, it makes us feel good, but turns out it's all fake. Oh, no, I hate it. So, you know, I scrolled down and went, this isn't true, and I've got, oh, I'm, okay, so I'm, so I'm totally bummed. So now what, I, what do I do? I want to figure out, well, I get annoyed, right? So first thing I want to do is, okay, fake. So I'm going to use what we call a Boolean search t um, term. It's, it's, this is and, fake, okay? So here's some more stuff about, this is from Nat Geo again. Here's from Euro News. Uh, does not show dolphins in the canals. Oh, no, no dolphins. And this has got pictures to show us why this isn't true. You know, this is in Sardinia. This has nothing to do with Venice. Blah, blah, blah. My life is a mess. So it's, it's all really interesting. <clears throat> but I'm going, it doesn't show thing. Well, but what it does show, what they're talking about, however, is that um, it doesn't show up so much in here. But they couldn't, I, you know went back and looked again at something else and so I found um, where is the one that I was finding uh, Mashable um, this one CNBC which I, I know is another credible source because they usually talk about economics and stuff well okay so this is true this is what it looks like and in fact the canals are clearer you can see at the bottom no less polluted it turns out but you can see the fish and, and the bottom of the canal excuse me while I get some tea Okay, um, but what's happened is, clear, you can see how clear it is, right? Pollution is down, and it's down and all kinds of things. So I scroll down and I find, oh, look at this, China, <clears throat> significantly less air pollution. Look at that. And some people say, well, maybe it's because of the Chinese New Year. Well, uh, no, here's some more satellite photos. This was last year. This was this year. Well, this is interesting. So I'm going, all right, so maybe this whole virus thing is having some weirdly unintended um, climate effects, which is a big thing for me. So I now go back to Google and I go back to there. <clears throat> so now I'm looking up. So now I want to see 
Oh, no. Well, you already got it on there. I was doing it. Coronavirus and pollution. And sure enough, um, there's all this stuff about pollution. Satellite animation shows pollution is clearing. Huh. Well, well, what do you know? Uh, down here, I get down to... Um, where's the one I was looking at? There was one from insider.com. Let me, let me do this. Um, so there's, there's that what I was looking for, okay? Um, and this is another, by the way, this is another good tool to use, this, um, this thing, because it'll tell you exactly, it, it will get you to exactly the source. Now, I happen to know that's where it was from, so that helped me. So here's some more stuff about it won't last long, but it shows what we can do if we do our, you know, do our thing and we start thinking about it. And, you know, it could show us um, some things that we might do to, to deal with pollution and climate change just in general. Um, hmm. So now I've got something that I can really maybe go and dig around and look for more information. Well, uh, this article particularly talks about uh, getting time to do solar and some of the other alternative energy sources and get rid of fossil fuels because that's what's making all the pollution go away is not using fossil fuels so um so that's what i that's that's one way to look at it which was interesting it was a really interesting search but it's exactly the kind of thing that you guys can do now i have another tool for you here <clears throat> all i gotta do is find it um and it is actually on our on our website so let me let me find it here because I put it up just for you guys so you, this way you can see where how to find it too so I have the unit 2 stuff up as I'm recording this this is not there yet but this is what I'm looking for is this worksheet um, okay so you can download it and there it is All right so this is a this is a nice little worksheet that I Put together based on something that you guys may have done in high school called KWL. Um, and what do I know? Okay, you can fill this out. What do I know? Well, I know that there are people saying that there are dolphins in the Venice Canal. So what do I wonder about? Where do they come from? What's going on? Uh, using my reporter's questions, my who, what, when, where, why, and how. I did a list of things. So I do my quick search and what did I learn? There are no dolphins in the Venice Canal. So what did I, what question did I just think of? I thought, well, okay, well, pollution's dropping, right? I also learned that pollution in the air is dropping. So questions that I just thought of is, is this a model for what we can do going forward? And will people pay attention to it? Now I've got a research report. I've got an investigative report that I can actually dig my teeth into, right? So use this thing. Um, this is not to post. This is just a help for you if you want to use it. So there you are on that. Um, so your next your next uh, steps in this little process are to start doing your research. And let me go back here again. Get back up here. Your assignment, your journal assignment for Friday, uh, the 27th, is to post uh, a question or topic area in your journals. And this is what to do. Say what it is, what your questions are. And then go find over the weekend, find a couple of other people's posts. Um, find something that you're interested in too, or that kind of, you know, hadn't thought about it, but you are interested. And then hit, leave a comment, uh, it's on the left-hand side under their names, and um, leave them something, a question or a thought, um, an idea, a source that they may not know anything about, uh, like my student who was looking up how we talk about the homeless. Um, one of the other students in the class had just uh, left a shelter with her family, and so she put this, this other student in touch with the shelter, and he got great stuff for his, uh, for his project. So do that. Do something thoughtful and substantive. And if you're the original poster, go back and see what other people have said. Now, I'm going to look at it, too, and I will leave, be leaving you notes. But that's what's up. That's what's due. And back to me. And I think I am done for the moment. Um, lecture two, getting your question together, getting started on your research. Uh, we're going to talk about genres and stuff in the next lecture and how to do a genre and research uh, rhetorical analysis. Um, when you're doing your source uh, work now and you start looking up things, think about different genres that these things are in. Like I found a video, I found posted stuff. I actually got the whole thing got started from a Twitter feed. So you can actually use a, a, a thread from Twitter if you want. 
uh, <clears throat> we kind of keep track and see what genres are out there and um, just get rolling. Um, post up what you've got, what you're thinking, and I will comment it, and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye. Stop. Make it stop.